Hi there, and welcome back to my channel. My name is Clevo, and we are back in Pokemon Scarlet, and this is episode 24 of my daily series. Now, if you haven't actually seen any of the episodes, and you've just walked into this episode, there will be a link down below for the playlist, so you can then go watch all the other 23 episodes that have been already uploaded onto my channel, and see what on earth has been going on, and how rubbish I am at this game, and how much I fail. So, please go ahead and do that, and then come back and watch this video and enjoy. But also, if you are new here, thank you for tuning in to, to my channel. I hope you do enjoy your stay while you're here. And if you do enjoy your stay, please don't forget to like and share and subscribe to the channel as well. But in the last episode, we carried on with leveling up our Pokemon. So we'd failed the Electro Gym in two episodes ago. And we thought, right, we need to level up a bit more, get ourselves a bit more prepared, hopefully try and be able to beat this gym leader a bit better. Her name was Iono, the electric gym leader. So we basically went out of the village or the city area and went and started to level up our Pokemon. We also caught a few new Pokemon as well. Found them along the way, which was nice. So we are pretty much going to be doing that again today, I think. We may end up going and fighting the gym in this episode. If not in this episode, it will be the next episode. So we will eventually take her on again and beat her, hopefully. But uh, yeah, I do hope you are ready for that there. So it looks like we are now just jumping into another terror raid to try and get some more XP candies. Maybe some new Pokemon as well. So this is an Azeril with a bug type terror form. Now, I probably should have brought Crocolaw for this. But being a one star shouldn't be too difficult. I say shouldn't be too difficult. Because it is a one star. And as we know, we can go up to five stars. Which, the five star ones, they are the, the, the top of the range ones. Which actually, I just remembered. In the last episode, we talked about a Charizard raid. And there was another thing we also need to do. I think we need to take on like three five star raids or something before we can take on Charizard. Anyway, I've not done it anyway. We're not, we're not going to get the Charizard raid. So I don't think it really matters. But when it does come back, we will be prepared, I'm sure, and ready to go for it. And then there will be a video posted for it too. However many Charizard raids we end up doing. Whether it be one or several. We shall see. But this raid was nice and easy. So it's time to now go and catch Azuril, the bug type terraform. And we will throw that Pokeball over at it which then turns into a crystal. I presume, I presume, I presume, I presume it's like the terror crystal. So then it's catching a terror formed or a terror raid Pokemon. And I just did inverted commas and with my fingers, which you couldn't see because I don't have a face cam. But that is actually something I am thinking about and potentially going to get sorted in the coming months. So, yeah, you may actually start seeing my face in some of these episodes. Who knows? We shall see. Might be after this series, potentially. I may not do it until after the series, but we'll see. If you'd like to see my face and would like to see my weird reactions as I stare at my computer, then please feel free to let me know down below in the comments. And, yeah. I will probably figure something out at some point. When I can be bothered to get a webcam. That's kind of the first step. There's a lot of things I need to do. Because there's there's a few other bits of equipment that I, I, I want to buy as well to try and get better recordings, be able to do a lot more through the PC. Not require my big massive TV that's sat next to me as well while I play games. Which is great for visual and great for me to be able to view the games and play the games and enjoy the games. But when it comes to like recording and things, it can get a little bit in the way, I suppose. So the plan kind of is eventually to get rid of the big TV and move in, give myself two smaller screens. So I end up having three screens for my PC, but two that could be for like recordings and for notes and stuff. And the middle one's going to be all for gaming related stuff. That's kind of the plan. Whether that works, we'll see. Whether I have the money for it all, we'll see. 
whether I even have the time to do it all, we'll see. All of that is future Clabo's problem. Right now we're in present Clabo, and we're watching past Clabo. It's Clabo-ception! No, it's not really, but whatever. But here's another terror raid we're gonna do. So, yeah, this kind of was my plan was just to now start doing terror raids because now I can get this XP candy and that's gonna help me level up. So it was just made sense to go around and take on all the terror raids. And we get some new Pokemon along the way. So, can't go wrong with that. It's a win-win for everybody. Well, at least for myself. Don't know about the Pokemon itself. It definitely is a win-win for me. But here's a Fido with a Ice Terraform. And Crocolore is strong against Ice, so I picked the perfect Pokemon for this battle. So I think Crocolore goes ahead and uses Incinerate, yes. Well, I select Incinerate for Crocolore. And almost we one-shot it right there, which was really cool. And there we go, that's Fido done as well. So we know these terror raids are nice and easy for the moment, because they're only one stars. I've not encountered any higher level ones at the moment. We will do, and when we do, you'll see that. And you'll see how much harder they are, because there's other things we may have to do as well to try and win the battle. But I'll not talk about that now, because that's a future episode. Let's think, let's stick to, I suppose it is technically the past, but let's stick to the present slash past of us watching this video and what's going on on the screen here and try not to digress too much. Unless it's something else that isn't about Pokemon, then I probably will end up going on a random tangent, but we'll try not to do that. We'll do our best to try and keep it relevant. Anywho. I've got quite a bit of candy there, so... Time to level up some of my Pokemon. Get them a little bit higher level. So get Houndor to level 24. Which, in turn, evolves Houndor into Houndoom. And now we have Houndoom instead of a Houndor, which is lovely. And Houndoom is awesome. So that's great. And then we carry on. Give Bonsley a few more. Thinking, ooh, will that help it level up? Probably not. Ooh, got up to level 29 though. That's not too bad. Once learned Sucker Punch. Okay. Forget block and learn sucker punch instead. Lovely. I give him a few more candies. Get him up to level thirty as well. It's very good. Fabulous. So that was a venom out there. And there's a Pikachu and another koala thing. Kamala, whatever it is. No, it's not Kamala. I think that's a whole different thing I'm thinking about there. That looks like we're going to head back to the Pokemon Center and just heal up our Pokemon a little bit. Make ourselves feel a bit more prepared, hopefully, for the coming battle. Oh no, perhaps I'm going to the Pokemon instead. Nope. I want to sell stuff. Ooh. We're actually going to finally start selling some of the things we've received. Looks like we are, because we've got a pearl string for 10,000. Two big pearls for 8,000. Seven pearls for 7,000. Ten stardust for 15,000. One honey. And I leave the pretty feathers for now. And I can get the rare bones as well. So totally that's 22k. 22,725 Pokebucks that we're gonna now. Sell all of that for 
fabulous. That puts us up to 80k, which is lovely. Means we can now go and buy a few more things. So I'm like, ooh, I don't want to buy 400 po uh, potions, no. Maybe not. Let's go with 100, maybe. Yeah, we'll go with 100, which is 20k. Lovely. We get a few more Pokeballs there as well. Get myself up to 100 of those. So we'll grab 63, gives us 100 of them. I'm gonna grab a few more of these as well. Go with 40 of them. I use my LP for that. There we go. Very nice. Got a few more bits that we now need. So those potions will massively help with auto healing and what have you. Nothing like a Pokemon Center to heal up your Pokemon, huh? Lovely. So, where are we off to next? Are we heading back to the city? I think we may be. Be a trainer along the way. Well, what do we do? We take on a trainer. Of course we do. It's more XP. Give us more chance to level up. Xavier, the student. Well, you're a very big student. We have a beard, so... Interesting. But, it's interesting that, yeah... The, the Academy allows basically any age of person to join, which I think is kind of cool, because anyone can be a Pokemon trainer, it doesn't matter what age you are, you can be a Pokemon trainer. I mean, I'm 32 and I'm a Pokemon trainer, so I'm like this guy, I'm an older man, I've got a beard, but I'd still be a Pokemon trainer, I'd still go out and take on the world. If Pokemon were real, I would be out there catching Pokemon. Well, probably by now I would be a Pokemon Master, but, you know. And maybe even be part of the Elite Four, who knows. I don't really know what kind of job I'd want if I was in the world of Pokemon. It's a really interesting question, though. Hmm. I'm going to leave that question for you guys. If you could be any profession in the world of Pokemon, what profession would you have? Leave a comment down below and let me know. Yeah, I think, I think, for me, it probably would be the Elite Four. As, well, they're the, the Elite. So I'd want to take on trainers who are as elite as me. And hopefully see them beat me and move forward to become champions. Or, if I wasn't part of the Elite Four, I'd probably just still journey along, around the world finding more and more new Pokemon. Taking on gyms for the other areas, the other islands, the other worlds, the other cities, the other regions. We'll go around to all the different regions and catch every single Pokemon and be the ultimate Pokemon Master with the over thousand Pokemon that there are now in this game. Well, not in this game specifically, but in this franchise. There's only 400 for this game. Which is quite fortunate, I suppose. I'd rather not have, like, the whole thousand I've got to catch. That, that'd that just be ridiculous. No, thank you. I'd, I'd rather not. But I presume there'd be a way to, like, open up the Pokedex. So you might be able to get more Pokemon in it. Because, I mean, Charizard is not technically in the 400, I don't think. So it would make sense that you could then get like Bulbasaur, Ivysaur, Venusaur, and Squirtle, Blastoise, blah 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 blah. What well, Wartortle, Blastoise? All of them. Maybe I don't know. I've not got that far yet. So we will find out together once we get there. So 
Now, I'm not entirely sure what I'm doing. I think I'm looking at more ground types, maybe, to see if I've got any others I can possibly try and level up. And I'm not doing a good job at this right now, am I? No, really not. what I was even thinking at this point. I think I was just trying to figure out what Pokemon I want to take with me. So I'm about to bring a magic up along with me. So I can try and maybe level it up and get it into a Gyarados. But if I'm gonna take on a gym, I don't know why I'm putting Magic Carp in my party. Because I failed last time by having a very low level Pokemon and I may just end up doing the same thing again. I don't know. Again, I very much just question my thoughts at this time and why I'm doing the things that I'm doing. But I suppose that is just part of my weird nature. So, yeah, looks like we are going to now head back into the city. And I think we are going to take on the gym again for a second attempt. I'm going to take it on that trainer, but no, we're just going to head straight to the gym. That's our focus. We want to take on Iono. We want to beat her this time. Hopefully we're going to have a better look this time around and take her down. So let's see if that happens. Are we ready to take her on? Probably not, but we're going to give it a go again anyway. Well, a go again anyway. Long loading times. That's the joy of this game. Long loading times. Alrighty then, let's try this again. Ladies and gentlemen, are you ready? Whoa! Your eyeballs are mine. Are they? I, I don't think my eyeballs are yours, but okay. It's time for the Iono Zone! Today we have Clubbo. How you feeling about this battle? Boom, straight to the straight talker, eh? Alrighty. Yeah, I'm just skipping through all the dialogue because we had the dialogue in the last couple of episodes ago. When we did take her on for the first time. I just wanted to get through this. It's like, right, let's do it. I feel a bit more prepared. Probably not fully prepared, but a bit more prepared. To take you on. Start with Crocolaw nice and early into the battle. See how we get on with this this time. Now that we have Flamethrower. Flamethrower being a much better move, much stronger move. Takes that Watch Roll out in one go, which is fantastic. So, straight away, we already can see that we are a lot stronger. And I think I just had a bit of a voice break there, so that was lovely. Straight. Yeah. Anyway. You can take the big out of me in the comments all you want, it's fine. Go for it. Go ham at me, why not? But this belly bot, belly bot, I keep calling it a belly bot, belly bolt, still a bit of a pain, but we took half health on it in one go, so that was really good. And even though it used water gun, wasn't as effective, and we burnt him as well, so that's, that's definitely helped massively for us here. So we'll whack it with an incinerate. And that's Bellybot down. Belly bolt down. Screw it, it's called Bellybot now. Because it's stuck in my head. But that's two down. 
So that one that we, we struggled so hard to take on last time, we've taken down with ease. So, being a lot more confident about this battle now. So now it's Luxio, who drops my attack, which shouldn't be too much of a problem. And no, one shot hit that one as well. So straight away, feeling way more confident than we were before. And even though we don't have any other Pokemon that are probably going to help us here, we get our Bonsly for the final battle here to hopefully help us with this. We shall see. Gonna send out her final Pokemon. Which is her Miss Magius. Miss Magius. Miss Magius. Or whatever it is. However you call it, whatever you call it, how you pronounce it. That word. That's the word I wanted. So we're gonna just watch her terraform her Pokemon again. So her electric type. I believe we're then going to terraform Bonsley into a rock type, which will enhance our rock attacks, which should do more damage to an electric type, as, yeah, it's an electric type. Come on, Bonsley, let's do this. You can do it, my good little man. My little creature, you can do it. My little Pokemon, you can do it. Well, Fuse Ray, that's not helpful. But hopefully, Bonsley, even though being confused, won't go ahead and get annihilated. Fingers crossed. Oof. Get some decent damage. Fingers crossed he's gonna hit his attack. He uses Rock Tome. Fantastic. How much damage is it going to do? Oh, very nice. Love it. Dropped its speed as well, which is really good. I hope the Hex is not going to one-bomb me. Oh, down to 10 HP. Oh, please don't attack yourself. Please use Rock Tone. Yes, please hit. We should have it done. Yes, look at that. So, even though we didn't look like we were that much more prepared, we were clearly a lot more prepared as we have now defeated Iono. And that is our third gym completed. Which is fantastic. So, a round of applause to me! Yay! You're as flashy as bright as a 10 million volt thunderbolt, friendo. That is Iono completed. Oh, and Palmy's evolving. Lovely. To a Pormo. Now to evolve Pormo. So we're in a couple of episodes ago. I was talking about those certain conditions. So one of the Pokemon, there is a Pormo that. Well, this Pormo, should I say? You have to actually walk with it for a thousand steps, and then level it up, and it will evolve into a Pormot. It takes a long time to do a thousand steps. I must say. I I do get it eventually, but it takes a while, so. Our challenger, Clubbo. Well, challenger came out victorious. Well done, Clubbo. Whoa, you're both so strong. Well, thank you. I hate to say it, but I lost. Thanks for cheering me on. Anywho, my loyal fans. Well then, what does our challenger get for beating me? The lean, mean, steaming queen. Streaming queen. I'll tell you, Clubbo, you win a gym badge. Woohoo! Screen cap this quick. This will be the shot you'll want to save in your brain spaces forever. I don't know if I do, but... Yeah! And we have the Thunder Gym Badge. Woohoo! Or Lightning Gym Badge. Yeah! Well done, guys. Smashed it. All thanks to Crocolore and Bonsley, we smashed it. By the bay, by these, the three Gym Badges, Pokepoles up to level 35 will be easier to catch. And they will listen to you, too. And thanks... And as my thanks for a sweet pick, I'm gonna give you this TM! Obtained Volt Switch.
So Vault Switch is a very similar to like that U-turn. So it will do an attack and then it will run away and put another Pokemon out instead. So it's a good little, little quick attack and then disappear. And then you chuck out a little tanker to take on the damage. And then yeah, you just keep going back and forth, back and forth, like that. But that's that gym done. Pardon me. Hello. Who's this? You just defeated the gym leader, yes? And your name is Clubbo, if I recall correctly. Tell me, do you seek to become a champion? Yes. Just what I hope to hear. You have a rare talent, especially for your age. Aim higher, great heights. Greater heights are within your reach. Or aim high. Oh, but you've... But I've gotten ahead of myself. I can't even speak myself right now. I'm Gita, chairwoman of the Pokemon League, the organization that runs these gyms. As you seem to be collecting gym badges, I suspect we'll meet again down the line. Until then, good day to you. Mm. Right. So we did see her in a previous episode, when we were at the school. In the staff room, when we went to see Nimona. Pneumonia. Yes, Pneumonia. And we didn't know who she was. But she is La Primera, or Gita. And she is, yes, the League Chairwoman. So, we will potentially, well, not potentially, we will definitely meet her again. So, but that is three gems down. So, fantastic. Now we've done three gems, we can have up to level 35 Pokemon that will listen to us, and also we can catch up to level 5 Pokemon a lot easier, which is lovely. So, pretty much the next step is to figure out what we're going to do next. Now, I do believe we are going to then take on one of the star leaders and also take on our first Titan over the next couple of episodes. So do look forward to that. Uh, but right now we are just continuing our little exploration around this city as I've not looked around here yet. And we found a little dock and found some items like electric terrain, which is rather lovely. Again, probably not even going to use it. But it's in my inventory anyway. And it also means I can make it any time if I go to a TM machine. That's Coridon is failing to try and pick up an EXP candy. Rather helpful than them. But yeah. We have, they even got electric terror shards. Which are fancy. I think they kind of boost your terror power or something along those lines if you give it to your Pokemon. It helps boost it. So, back to the Pokemon Center. And I think at this point we are probably going to wrap this episode down. So I do hope you have enjoyed this episode here. And if you have, don't forget to like, share and subscribe. And let's see what my next step is going to be. Oh, I'm going to look at the maps. Because I think we're now figuring out what the next step is going to be. So we've got two gym badges down, gym leaders down there. Probably don't really want to take them down yet. Being an ice gym would be easy against fire. But I can already tell you, much higher levels. So probably don't want to do that. So yeah, not helpful. But there is one there as well, the Medali gym, which is Larry. And I think he will be potentially our next guy once we do go and take on a gym. But there we go. I hope you have a lovely day and I will see you in the next one.